Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to change default data on transaction files location in SQL Server. By default, database files are stored in data directory. It is always recommended to place data on transaction files location in different locations than the default location. Why we have to change the default data and transaction log files location because to minimize data loss for a high performance, to avoid disk space issues and to avoid the page corruption issues. First, let's connect to SQL Server and verify the default data and transaction file locations. Right click on your SQL Server instance, then go to properties, then select the database settings at the bottom see here database default locations. We are going to as I mentioned data and log files are going to store in data directory. Now we are going to change this data and log files location. Let's create data and log directories. SQL data, then SQL log. Now we have to grant read and write permission to these two folders for service accounts. Let's verify the service account for SQL Server. Services.msc, double click on SQL Server service, then go to logon, then copy the service account, then go to directories then properties, then security, then click on edit, then select object types, service accounts, computer, select all and click ok, then location, then select the machine name, then paste the service account name, then click ok. Here we have to select read write, then click on apply. See that account has been added and it, we have granted read write permission then click ok in the same way grant read write permission to service account for the log directory as well security add select all objects select the machine name check names then click ok then here select the checkbox to allow write permission then click on apply ok ok now go to sql server right click on sql server instance name then select properties then go to database settings then here we have to remove we have to remove existing one and paste the new data and log files directories then click on ok now we have changed the default data and log files directories. To affect these changes, we must have to restart SQL Server service. Go to services, then right click on SQL Server service, then click on restart. So we have restarted SQL Server service. After SQL Server restart, Close the existing SQL Server connection and reconnect. Now verify. Right click and select new database. See here if you go to path, the new data and log files locations has been changed. Also we can verify by creating a database. I am simply creating a database. Create database test. Execute it, then go to databases, see new database has been created and go to database properties, go to files, see here path changed, but for master database it remains it's not changed because it's already created, see here, okay. Now go to, see in the data directory it has created MDF file, in the log file it has created LDF file. In this video, we have seen how to change default database data and log files location in SQL Server. Please like and share 
this video and subscribe my channel for more SQL Server videos. Thank you.